Hello friends, this is Pankaj Chhatri and you are watching AM tutorial. In this video we will see dialog box in AM. There are two dialog box in AM which is classic dialog box and the touch optimized dialog box. And we will also see the difference between these two dialog box. So now open your AM instance. And now go to the sites. Let's see how our dialog box looks like in AM. Now I'm opening this demo site. Go to the English page, open this page. So this is our English website of Geometrix. Here if I will double click this component, then you will be able to see this window. So this is a dialog box. So dialog box are small temporary windows that are used to edit content and take input from the user. You can change the content of this component using this dialog box. For example, I am taking it. I'm writing down geometry AM. Click on OK. See this, the content has been changed. So using dialog box, you can easily edit the content of your website and uh, box. So this was the classic dialog box. Its layout is white in color. And uh, let's open this component. Here you will see this window is a touch optimized dialog box and its layout is black in color. So let's see the difference between these two dialog boxes. So we have classic box and touch optimize. Classic dialog box is actually based on ext.js framework, which is nothing but a widget library. And whereas touch optimized dialog box uses granite.js. And the second difference is this classic dialog box is not responsive. And whereas touch optimized dialog box is responsive. So it supports very well in your mobile and tablet. In classic dialog box, dialog is the root node and in touch optimized dialog box, cq underscore dialog is the root node. Let's see. Now go to your CXD console and let's open the foundation component. So go to lips, go to WCM. Now go to foundation components. Here yeah, yeah, you can see all the foundation components which are already available from AEM. So if I open this title component, here yeah, you can see it has CQ underscore dialog which is touch dialog box and it also has dialog which is classic dialog box. So this is the root node of classic dialog box you can see here. And it has two fields title and type. So title here it is using text field and the type is a drop down. And if I go to this touch your dialog box here, the root node is CQ underscore dialog and it is using the same title and type type is using text field and type is using drop down. And uh, for different for input field X type properties used in classic dialog box, whereas for input field resource type properties used in touch optimized dialog box. Let's see in CRXD if I go to dialog and if I go to this field you will see here here it is using x type property where it has defined that it is using text field which is our input field and in the type node it is using x type as a selection which is drop down now coming to the touch dialog box in title node you can see it is using sling underscore resource type property to show the text field and uh, in the type also you can see it's uh, sling colon resource type property and this is using select for drop down. If you want to find out the list of available input fields in in classic dialog box then you can go to the widget API of AM type AM widget API. Now open this website go to CQ go to ext go to the form. Here you will see the list of fields which are available for classic dialog box. Here you can see you have combo box, check box, you have radio group, radio, text area, text fields. So you can find out the list from here for classic dialog box. Whereas if you want to find out the list of touch UI dialog box, then you have to go to this path, which is inside lips folder. So let's go to the lips and now go to the granite then go to the UI 
after that go to the components go to foundation and now go to the form here you can see the here you can see the list of available fields for touch your dialog box the most common are text area text field radio option here you can also see the select for drop down girl color picker checkbox these are all are available so now you know that exact difference between classic dialog box and touch your dialog box in aem so in my next video we will see how you can create a title component and we will also create a dialog box for the same component so thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share it with your friends thanks again for watching